Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Wednesday, May the 8th. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the GLCBC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. Bonjour from Montreal. Actually, as I say that, I'm waiting to catch a shuttle to the airport to fly home to Vancouver. A successful week. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, you'll know that my son Jacob is the national champion for his age group, junior boy, age 13 to 15. He won the gold medal in Laval. As, so he's the best, as of now, in this federation, he's the best 10 pin bowler in the country for his age. I'll do a video pretty soon about all his games and, and you know the, the ups and downs of the weekend, but all in all, I'm very proud of my son Jacob, of course, and I'm looking forward to celebrating with him at home. Okay, let's talk about one piece of Canucks news bro broken by, uh, broke by Rick Dollywall, of Sportsnet 650. He's quickly becoming one of my favorites and I think a very reliable source for Canucks news. And that is defenseman Derek Pouliot will not be granted um, a qualifying offer as a restricted free agent. That means on July 1st, Derek Pouliot becomes an unrestricted free agent and therefore likely not to be with the Vancouver Canucks in the future. I say likely because last year, they also did not give him a qualifying offer, yet they signed him to a one-year contract for less than a million bucks, basically a show-me contract. And they basically showed the Canucks, he showed the Canucks that he might not have a future here, especially with Quinn Hughes stepping in with Ole Ulevi, they were paving the way for him. And you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of, uh, you got Edler probably coming back, you got Tanev, you got Stetcher, you got Hutton, there's six I just named already, Luke Shannon, any free agents or any trades. So really, especially with Hughes and Ulevi, there wasn't a space for Derek Pouliot. Two relatively forgetful seasons with the Canucks. You know, in his first season, he played 71 games at 22 points, so not bad, in, se in just under 18 minutes of ice time, but he was a minus 22. And last season, played in only 62 games, so three quarters of the games, including only a handful of games over the past, the last two or three months. Uh, so he played in 62 games, and he only had 12 points, and in just over 17 minutes of ice time. So eight, just under 18 minutes of ice time in his first season, just over 17 minutes last season. And unfortunately, uh, we can't remember a lot of good things he did because he didn't do a lot. You know, I'm not going to pile on the guy, but I think a lot of people did not were not happy with his defensive play in his zone, which is tough to say as a defenseman. You know, you want to be good in your defensive zone, but he wasn't. He was he would give away the puck a lot. He'd be pressured off the puck. He'd be lose battles for the puck, sometimes centering in front of the net. You know, a lot of I think a lot of his giveaways were very uh, reminded a lot of Canucks fans of Lucas Spisa from a few years ago, and that's not a good thing. In fact, I contended that Derek Pouliot would have been a better forward than a defenseman, as he actually had a few, de um, you know, decent offensive forays in the zone because he was a good skater actually, but he simply was not confident with the puck. He wasn't the best passer. You know, you think as a good skater, he'd be better getting the puck out of the zone, but he would often make uh, poor decisions. So all in all, he was unfortunately more of a liability than he was an asset for the Canucks blue line. And therefore, I do not see him getting re-signed to the Vancouver Canucks like he was last summer. So just a quick update, Derek Pouliot likely done after two seasons with the Vancouver Canucks. It's too bad, he's a high draft pick, first round, eighth overall, 2012 by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Didn't, uh, we didn't trade much to get him here, so it's not a huge loss. But still, you like to see those kind of guys work out, not only for the Vancouver Canucks, but for his own sake. We will see if he gets another contract with another NHL team. Canucks fans, leave a comment below. I have to be quick because I see my shadow pulling up. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about Derek Pouliot. Tell me what you thought about Derek Pouliot. Do you think he got a fair shot with the Canucks? What you like about his game? What didn't you like? And are you okay with the decision to let him go? Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply as, as always. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. I'm looking forward to getting back to more regular videos, regularly posted videos, starting tomorrow once I return home to my familiar confines of my bed. Not that I'm gonna do these videos from my bed, but familiar confines of my car and being home back in Vancouver. All right, have a great day. God bless and go Canucks go.